I'm uh, Jenny Chan, Managing Director at Aztec Mauritius, which forms part of the Aztec Group. Uh, I started my career in the early 1990s um, in South Africa, Johannesburg, where I had uh, pursued studies in IT. And my first job was as an analyst programmer in a manufacturing sector. I worked for a few years in South Africa and then came back to Mauritius, where there I started my career in Mauritius in the um, assurance industry and then I worked in the textiles industry before joining the ICT sector in the early 2000s. I joined uh, the ICT sector in its early, very early beginnings. Um, what I saw was that uh, there was uh, a lot of international based companies with um, different ways of working and uh, different uh, approaches and I saw the potential that this could bring to the local IT sector and uh, this is the primary reason why I wanted to join the ICT sector. In a growing sector there are plenty of, of opportunities so um, what I would say is that uh, if someone is, um, you know, is motivated, self-motivated, um, you can find the right opportunities for you, the job that fits you, and the role that fulfills you. So um, that has been uh, my motivation, and uh, what my main motivation has always been, you know, do to do what I like to do, and this is what motivated me. I started my career in the technical field and gradually at some point I found that um, you know, what I really wanted was to encourage and motivate people to uh, be their best, to, um, to work together as a team and achieve objectives together. So that's when my career took a management turn. Uh, like all careers, I think there are ups and downs. I joined the IT field in the early 1990s when it was very much a male-dominated field. And I did encounter some, some difficulties. I remember, for example, um, in one of the first uh, meetings I had with all uh, male counterparts, I had a lot of difficulty to voice my opinions. But I persevered and ultimately uh, my colleagues realized the value that I could bring to the discussions, the unique contribution, and they started to respect me for what I am, for what I could do. I think it was all natural. Leading was all natural to me and uh, probably planned by God. Um, I, at some point in my career, people encouraged me to take certain opportunities. And at some point, I chose the opportunities, the paths that I knew would be fulfilling for me. So I am uh, the mother of four children, two girls and two boys, and to me work-life balance is a real priority. And um, I must say that uh, I'm fortunately I'm blessed to have a job that provides me the right work-life balance and uh, to have a very supportive husband as well. Um, so uh, how do I do it is um, I always ensure when I'm, I'm, I'm at work, I'm fully focused on what I do and I always have to find ways of doing things quicker and more efficiently and also learn how to delegate properly. That's very important. Um, I must say that uh, it sometimes happens that I have to take work back home or do some conference calls at home, but um, I have learned to switch off, to learn how to switch off when I am with my family and not let work problems interfere with my family life and vice versa, not the troubles at family interfere with my work. So the ICT sector is a very dynamic sector and if one wants to pursue a career in the ICT sector, um, I would really encourage the women especially to join this, um, this sector which is also very flexible, so be it in terms of working hours or place of work, because at, the, at present we offer a lot of working from home as well. My message to the women would be you know, to first of all believe in yourself. Do not let others um, look down upon you because you're a woman, but know that you can and you, you can bring your unique contribution. So be strong, persevere, and above all, enjoy what you are doing.